I just finished my sander that attaches to my shopsmith and is powered by the shopsmith. Uh, a couple weeks ago I posted a video with just the sander and since then I've completed the, uh, the swinging portion which holds the guitar neck. And that's what it's for is putting a radius on a fretboard of a guitar neck. So right now I've got this guitar neck that I've that I'm working on attached to it. The concept is that uh, guitar neck radiuses have various different radiuses sanded onto them. Some are, you know, 12 inch. Some some have no radius. Those are the easy ones, and some are are like nine and a half inches or whatever. But right now I got this set up for 12 inch, which means I've got 12 inches between the center point of this this pivot point and the bed of the the sand sander. Okay, and it adjusts here and here to uh, to adjust the height. And then the concept is you just swing it back and forth as the sander's going, and it puts that radius on. Uh, put a brace here to uh, to counter the the direction of the sand sandpaper that way. Uh, not sure if it was necessary or not, but now it's it's pretty solid. Uh, let's see. How does it work? The uh, Shopsmith motor has a drill chuck on it, and it attaches to this gearbox I got off of eBay. And then I got my drive uh, spool, I guess you call it, a drive spool, which turns the belt. This is the free-floating end. I've got... Uh, Alignment adjustment here with these turnbuckles. Got one on each side. There. And let's see what else. Yeah, I'll just show it in operation here. 